Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, we're going to be talking about my listing starter site kits. It had been two and a half years ago since I had last done a walkthrough video for this. And a lot has changed both within the my listing club and how Elementor creates these kits for you when you decide to create one. So we're going to dive into the product page for this product from the club and see what it's all about. So let's go ahead and dive in from the my listing club website. That's my listing club. Right here on the home page, we see this My Listing Starter Site Kits card. Let's go ahead and click into that. That gets us to our product page. And let's go through this together top to bottom. My Listing Starter Site Kits, all the pages, posts, listings, templates, products, Elementor site settings, and more used to build a particular starter site in a single download. So one download gets you all of this stuff. We're gonna look at what this stuff is here in a bit. Explorer is going to take you down to show you all of the different starter sites that are available and what's currently being built, which is currently Canvas. So you can click on those cards and go and see a live demo of these sites to, to get an idea of what you're going to get with these kits. Pricing, obviously, it's going to take you down to pricing where you can um, purchase a kit of your choice. Guarantee we'll get into in a second. So let's talk about the content that is included. Starter site kits include all of the following content created when building a particular My Listing starter site. Elementor-based pages, posts, and landing pages. WordPress-based pages and posts. My Listing single listings. Woo products. Products, listing packages, listing promotions, etc. WordPress menus. You save a ton of time not having to create content from scratch. Elementor templates. Starter site kits include all of the following templates and any associated display conditions created when building a particular My Listing starter site. Headers and footers, pages and, pages and posts, archives and search results, 404 page, pop-ups, global widgets, all other saved templates, and more. These templates complement the content, which is the previous section we just covered, included in the starter site kits as the content will be in place and ready for the display conditions to do their thing. So what that means is uh, you first import the, the, con the content gets brought in, which is, let's just say, a page, that, and let's say you want to display a pop-up on one of those particular pages. Because that page is already in place, and then you're importing the template that has a display condition to say, hey, let's display this template on a home page, both of those things are automatically taken care of as part of the kit. You save a ton of time not having to hunt for individual templates, download them, and figure out the display conditions. Elementor site settings. Starter site kits include all of the following settings configured when a particular starter site is built. Global colors, global fonts, theme style, which includes topography, buttons, images, and form fields. Layout, lightbox, backgrounds, page transitions, and more. This saves you time and ensures you use the settings I've tested with my listing websites. We're back in the Explore Starter Site Kits section. The only thing I want to point out in, uh, this time around is kits are just one component required to build a complete My Listing Starter Site. Okay, we'll get in. We'll get into that a little bit here in, in a second as well. Okay, how it works: you buy it, you import it, and you customize it. You know, just as you would any Elementor website. You you. You're going to get the, the pages and the templates and all that stuff, and you know you add your own branding colors, your you know your own images if you want, um, change some other things around. What is it's as much as you want to change from the how the starter site kit um, comes in. So if let's say for example you import a starter site kit and it's got a blue underline, you know you want to make it a. A, an orange underline, you know, you can make that change. It's super simple, you know, just make it uh, um, with your own branding and whatnot. Okay, that's all that means. So super simple, and we're going to dive into that more here. We're going to do an actual import together. Okay, frequently asked questions: What is the guarantee? If you notice an issue with a starter site kit you've purchased, and you can show me the issue also exists on the corresponding starter site live demo, I will try my absolute best to fix the issue for free. So what this means is, let's say you buy the fit starter site kit, and you notice on the pricing page that something is a bit off. You, then you can go out to the fit starter site, the full fit starter site demo. So that's fit.mylisting.club, look at the pricing page, and See if the issue exists there as well. If, if you can say, hey, Ryan, I, I see the issue also exists on the live demo, then I will try my absolute best to fix the issue for free and then get you that fix, okay? That's what that means. If you notice an issue on your site, but you can't show me that it's also on the live demo site, 
there's nothing I can really can do uh, for free because it could be anything to do with your environment that's unique, whether it's the plugins you have installed, any custom code, the theme version, plugin. I mean, there's just so many things that go could be causing it. I can't fix that for free unless, you know, use the a paid option for support from the club. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, with that, let's continue on. Do you offer support? Yes. The following options are available. If you need help with something not covered by the guarantee, and I give you some links for those things. Do I need to do anything to repair my current website? Perform a full backup of your website. Ensure the required plugins listed at the bottom of the section are installed and activated before importing a kit. Required plugins, no matter what you do, whichever kit you need Elementor Pro, that's how I build pretty much every template. So just assume you need Elementor Pro. Crockleblocks Jet Tabs is only needed when you use the Charlotte or the Val Starter Site Kit. Even then, we're not talking about needing it for every single template and page and everything. So let me show you what I mean by that. If we go to the My Listen Club website, go to Menu, Resources, and let's sort the let's sort by the starter sites I mentioned, Charlotte and Val. And then let's sort by product tag, Crocoblox Jet, Crocoblox Jet Tabs. Right here. This is going to show you all of the templates that use that plugin. So let's see, we do we're showing 20 objects per page. Let's do 25 objects per page. So we can see it is um, it's 20. We see here that it's because we're displaying 25 objects per page on this um, search filter, then it's either 25. Let's say it's 24. So it's not every template. There's a lot more templates that are not impacted by Crocoblocks Jet Tabs. This is just going to show you which ones are are impacted. So, and then, and then like for example, like Char the Charlotte homepage here, it's just a portion of the homepage that is impacted. It's 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 a lot to get into, but it, it's um, all that to say that don't be super discouraged if. You don't want to go out and buy, buy Crocoblox Jet Tabs, even though it's it's only like $15 at the time of this recording, I believe. It's worth it to get it, in my opinion. Uh, if you don't already have a service from the club where I'm providing that license for you, then I would just go out and get it and call it a day. But long story short, again, I just don't want this, the need for Crocoblox Jet Tabs to deter you from really getting the exact look from these starter sites. Okay, that's my main my main point there. How do I download and import my starter site kit? After purchasing your starter site kit, it will be immediately available to download from your club account. And I've got some steps here to do it. We're gonna do it right now, okay? So I'm gonna dive over to this uh, demo my listing website. So here we are at the root of our WordPress dashboard. We're just gonna go to, once I move my video recording stuff here, we're gonna go to Elementor and then Tools, Import Export Kit, Start import, select our file, select our downloaded starter site kit, click next, click import, and then this typically happens pretty pretty quick. It, it's determined by the size of the starter site kit, which is, uh, is what it is. And then there's, you know, it could be your internet speeds, it could be your hosting, it could be uh, a, a few things that determine the length of time that it takes for a kit to be imported. Could be your work, something with your workstation, your browser, but uh, typically it, the imports will happen within a, a minute, sometimes two minutes. So we'll just let's just let this complete here. The other thing I want to mention too, while we've got a little dead time here, is um, as it says here, you know, do not close this window. So just make sure you just, 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 just sit here, and I would just recommend just sitting here and waiting until it completes, and then before you do anything else, just to be on the safe side. The other thing to keep in mind too is we're, we're, it's done now, but you see all the stuff that it imported. So it, it's got quite a bit to, to bring in. So like I said, uh, this is all the stuff you get. Elementary templates, 21 pages, 404 page, footer, five pop-ups, one global widget, 
a uh, single blog post template, uh, some template for a section, three product archives, one regular archive. All of these site settings are brought over and then all this content, 21 posts, 44 pages, 20 listings, which is really cool, uh, 24 products, and even even WordPress navigation menu items is brought over, okay? So then you just click close and then off you go. You've, you've just that fast, you've got the kit installed and you're ready to rock, okay? All right, let's continue on. How do I customize the starter site kit and make it my own? Same thing I said said earlier. It's you just get in there. Um, you know, it's same thing if you've ever edited a my listing website or an elementary website. It's the same thing. You get in there, you just change the branding, your colors, add your images if you want. You know, make it your own just by editing Elementor as you typically would. Okay, Good. all of this is Elementor based content. Uh, well, for the most part, it is you still got the WooCommerce products and things like that, but um, you get the idea. So. You customize it just as you would anything else. What if I change my mind and would like a different starter site kit? No problem. Elementor provides a remove kit feature to make things super simple. This feature lets you remove the latest kit installed on your website without needing to restore your entire website. Okay, so you imported the kit and uh, you change your mind. You know whether it's the kit you buy from the club or you get it from somewhere else, and you just Maybe you got a kit from somewhere else. Now you want to remove it and then go and get the you know one from the club. So you just go back to your WordPress dashboard, go to Elementor and then tools. We're going right back to that same spot. Import export kit. And you'll see down here, remove most recent kit. You'll just click that button and within seconds, you're, you're back to where you were. No need to restore your website uh, from a backup. Okay. When might someone buy a starter site kit instead of a starter site? I see starter site kits being purchased over starter sites when the following is true or one or all the following is true. You want to take a DIY, do it yourself approach to replicating a my listing starter site or and or you want to launch your website fast but don't need to launch as fast as you could with a with a starter site. So what that means is the absolute fastest you can and in my opinion the best option is to just to buy a, a full full starter site, you know, whether it's just all the time savings, how everything's just built and ready to go, whether it's the almost $800 at the time of this recording worth of free worth of software, um, year over year, just all these things. I would just consider going that route, but if you don't want to, and you're, you're not in a, as big of a rush, then that's another reason to maybe go with the kit instead. How do I build a my listing starter site replica? I've got a link to a guide that is completely revamped. It's going to walk you through top to bottom how to build a starter site replica. Okay, so here is that guide. Can I get a credit if I decide to switch from a kit to a starter site? Yes, I'm happy to give you a credit for the original purchase price toward purchasing a my listing starter site as long as it's the same site as the one associated with the my listing starter site kit. For example, I'll credit you if you buy the fit starter site kit and then later want to buy the fit starter site. You can't, for example, buy the fit starter site kit and then say later on, hey, can you give me a credit because I would like to buy the, the base camp starter site. That That's not possible because then you get two different products for a less price. If that makes any sense, so you can't you can't mix and match those. It's got to be they got to they got to match up. Okay, um, can I resell starter site kits? No, please don't please don't resell these. If it's, you know it is pretty pretty self explained. They're just I just ask that you don't resell what you know the the products that I'm creating. Okay, do you offer refunds? No, uh, it's because these are digital products, and once you get them in your hands, I can, you can't return them to me. So is what it is. I'm available, um, as you see here in this, this area right here, if you want to book a consultation, if you want to jump in the chat window with me, ask me as many questions as you want, um, and I'll answer any pre-sales questions that make you feel comfortable. That goes along with um, the no refunds. Are you affiliated with the official, are you affiliated with the my listing theme owners? No, I am a customer and an advocate for the theme. All right, moving on down to the pricing. Again, all the pages, posts, listings, templates, products, elementary site settings, and more used to build a particular starter site in a single download for $79, the one-time payment at the time of this recording. You know, pricing can always change, but that's that's what it's been for a long time. You, you get all those things we already talked about. In addition, you get a lifetime 30% off um, 
discount for the new club community. Okay. So over time, that's going to pay literally pay for, pay for this starter site kit. Uh, it's, it's, I highly recommend it because then you can ask any questions you want about, you know, how to, how to do certain things with anything related to my listing, uh, obviously including the kit. So there is a special, my listing club customer space where you can ask product specific questions. Okay. So that is that, um, also to go along with the pricing, uh, I wanted to show you and the other thing and then we'll get out of here. So it includes the listings, right? So what about, you know, the templates? So what this saves you from having to do, I just want to drive this home. If you go to resources and you sort this by, let's just say the fit starter site and I sort this by templates. Every one of these templates in here is, is going to be included. And there's a lot. Okay. So everything is going to be included in there. You don't have to go and get a club membership if necessarily to, to download each of these, import them into your site one by one and, and that, that sort of thing. Um, where a club membership in this particular case makes a lot of sense. And I see that people do this all the time is if you want to mix and match, let's say you do want starter site kit kit for fit, but you also want to mix and match. You want to pull in some stuff from the Val starter site, maybe some stuff from the upcoming canvas starter site or whatever, just mix and match. That's when a club membership really um, comes into play there. All right. Uh, also included is these product packages. So that is part of what you are bringing in. So if we go back here, products, when I say products are included in the starter site kit, that is this, these product packages, those are already brought in. Okay. So that's a lot of big time savings there. This is what configures everything to do with your pricing, whether it's how many listings can be, can be added to the site, whether they're available for claims, whether they're featured, whether they're not, whether they're, what you know, what the features are of the pricing plans, um, what the actual pricing is, like everything is included, um, in there. It's just a huge time, time savings. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, hopefully by the time, We've got to this point, you understand the value that these offer for that price. Um, yeah, it's it's just a huge time saving. Um, and then again, being able to join the community at, at that big of a discount for, for life is also huge. Lots of goodies in there. And uh, I hope all is well, guys, and I will catch you in the next video.